thinking just in the shoes of a teacher. So how do I get ideas on how to present maths in a way that fosters this kind of agency? I've got so many things I could explain at once. I've got another PD which looks at teaching coordinate geometry, you know, straight line graphing, but in a conceptual way. And it's a really good example of how this understanding first approach works. And then you can apply those principles to other units. But one example is in the procedures first way, this used to be me and I would lose the students after three lessons. It always frustrated me because this is one of my favorite topics. And unless I had the top class, I just, these kids were dead after a couple of lessons because I'm, I'm teaching the gradient formula, say, right? Here it about they have got no idea what they're doing, but they're pumping out gradients. Now I'm going to teach them the distance formula, distance between two points. Now I'm going to teach them the, what's that one? the midpoint formula. Well, in this other approach, the understanding first approach, you've got students doing all those three things, but on grids, you give them grids set up, and they've got a so they're using Pythagoras to find the distance, right? They they're using their common sense to find the gradient. They're just doing the triangle. Oh yeah, because we've explored that. They're using their logic to find the midpoint then when you present the formulas they go ah oh, this is what we've been doing for the last two lessons sir that's right and it sticks and they know they're doing i'm talking about the, the students that normally crash and burn in this sort of topic they know it's difficult maths because it's not just crunching you know integers or you know there's something difficult about this and yet they're succeeding and the difference between teaching in the procedures first way to an understanding first way in that particular topic was just chalk and cheese. And it's mm -hmm. simply because it's not the practitioner, it's the fact that the unit of work, the way it's presented, allows students to understand what they're doing and it gives them a sense of control because when they're doing those first activities, there's a lot of ways they can do that. They're not just copying what Mr. Andrews said from the board and getting another answer. 